Hey, welcome to another show. On this show, we are always having fun, and that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you some different ways on how you can add single digit numbers and make it fun. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks a lot. Welcome back on this show. And right away, I want to just tell you, check out our other videos on here. We have some great drawing videos and education videos. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you on how a couple different ways on how we can add uh, numbers. And we're only going to work with single digit numbers. You might want to say, you might be asking, what is a digit? A digit is a number from 0, 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you're probably asking yourself, why did I not say the number 10? Well, these are all single digits. These, this means that we use these numbers in other numbers, but this is the list of single digit numbers. For instance, if I were gonna use 10, then I would use this number and this number, and that would be 10. So for today's show, we're only gonna be adding a single digit. Hello, kitty. I guess the kitty wants to learn how to add too. This is our cat, Abby, and she's on a lot of our shows. Let's start out with the equation three plus two. And a lot of you out there might already know the answer, but knowing the answer sometimes isn't the most important. It's finding the answer. And that's what I want you to know is how to understand to find the answer. So I'm gonna give you a couple different ways on how to find the answer three plus two. Now, one way is to use our fingers. We can take the number three, okay, we got three right here, and two more fingers for the two. So we would go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's an easy way on how to find uh, numbers is using your fingers. Now what I like to do is I like to take the biggest number first, which would be three, and then add on two, which is two fingers. So I'm not gonna do the three fingers, I'm just gonna say the, the biggest number, three. And when I say that, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna touch my chin, three. So now I'm gonna say three, four, five. And that's a way to find the answer to a problem like this. So this would be five. Another way is by using tally marks. So you could use tally marks to find uh, three plus two, which you could do one, two, three, plus another two, one, two. And you, then you count your tally marks, one, two, three, four, five and you can find the answer that way. I like to visualize the numbers, and this is another way to do it, is I visualize the numbers as dots or circles. And so the number three, I would visualize three dots. And the number two would be two dots. And then I would count that. One, two, three, four, five. That is one way to do that problem. Another way is to use uh, manipulatives. You could use blocks, coins, beans, anything you want. Uh, right now, I have some markers. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, here I have three markers. So here's one, two, three, plus another two markers, two. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. That is another way. That's great for hands-on work. And as a teacher, I like to teach all these different ways to my students, and then at the end, they get to figure it out on their own. Now, the, toward the end of my teaching of single-digit numbers, I want the students to visualize this in their mind. So I will give a problem like this, and I want you to actually picture the 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 number of dots uh, for this problem in your mind and kind of look at that and then close your eyes and visualize that. So at the end of the course, I want them to try to do it in their mind. So once again, there are many different ways on how to add. So let's do a few examples on some single digit numbers, okay? 
Let's go with 4 plus 3. And see how I, ha I have the numbers all lined up. And right away I'm visualizing the 4. Sometimes there's something called touch math, and you can look on that, and they do it a little different way. But you would say, like, here's 1, 2, 3, 4. But I'm just going to put 4 dots. Okay, just going to put 4 dots. Visualizing the 4 is 4 dots. And I have a 3, so here's 1, 2, 3. Now, once again, you can start with the bigger number, is you don't have to... You know, if you're doing fingers, you don't have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Get rid of the 4. All right? Say the big number. 4. 4. 5, 6, 7. Okay? That's a great way to do it. Let's try a bigger number using our fingers. Okay? 17 plus 3. Now, 17 is a double-digit number. That's a big number. But let's try that. All you have to do is say 17. All right? And you have three fingers already. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay? That easy. It was 20. 17 plus 3 is 20. Pretty easy cheesy. All right? But it's so important to learn the single-digit numbers. All right, let's try another one. Eight plus five. Okay. All right. Uh, first of all, let's try a different way on this one. I don't. You don't even have to put dots for down for eight. Let's just do the five. Okay. Five. All right. Five dots. Okay. Just say the number eight. Eight. Count the dots after you say the the the, uh, the number eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. If you want to, you can use your finger, your hand. It has five fingers. All right. Use your chin. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. Eight plus five is thirteen. Okay, this is one, these are a couple different ways on how to add numbers. Now there's another way, and that is using a number line. So you can use a number line. A number line consists of a line that goes from uh, horizontal, and you can start it at zero if you want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and this can go on for infinity. Infinity means it goes on forever. And so I'm just making my number line here. All right. And now we are going to... Whoop, the kitty wants to <laughs> keep on learning math. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Um, now we're <laughs> kind of distracted me there a little bit. Okay, let's take a little problem. Um, let's take uh, four... plus 4. Okay. These two numbers are the same. So what you're going to do is you are going to start on this number right here. All right. So find that number on this number line. Here it is right here. And if you want to, you can circle it. And you're going to be like a frog and jump four times. Okay. So let's jump like a frog. One, two, three, four right here and it landed on the number eight i have a video on youtube you can look it up on lampo film uh, number line and i go over subtraction and addition in more detail using the number line so this is also a great way on how to learn to add uh, single digit numbers four plus four equals eight okay so now I'm going to test you guys right now. All right. I'm going to give you a couple different problems to do, and then we'll go over the answers. All right. I want you to do four plus three and also five plus three. 
And then I want you to do six plus four. Hello Kitty again. And then um, the last one I want you to do, I'm going to give you a little more difficult one, and that will be seven plus five. Okay? So if you need to, pause the video right here and do these problems, and then we'll continue. All right, welcome back. I wonder how you did your addition. Were you using it with a number line? Were you using manipulatives? Using your fingers? Were you doing it in your mind? All right, let's get right into solving the problems. All right, four plus three. I wonder how you did it. For this one, I'm going to use my fingers. I'm going to start with the biggest number, which is four, and then I'm going to count three. So I'm going to get three fingers ready for the smallest number, and then I'm just going to say four, four, five, six, seven. All right, four plus three equals seven. Now we have five plus three. I'm going to use manipulatives, like markers, and so I'm going to put five markers here, and then I'm going to put three markers over here. And then I'm going to add them together. One, two, three, four, five, which is this number here, plus the three. Six, seven, eight. All right. Five plus three equals eight. Six plus four. I'm going to use dots on this one. Six would be six dots here. And then four more dots. All right, and if I want to, I can count these dots, but I know that they're going to equal six, so I might as well just say six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I just keep on going. Seven, eight, nine, ten. The answer would be ten. Try to do that pro those type of problems later on in your mind. Visualize those dots there. That's going to help out a lot. Seven plus five. Let's go ahead and use the number line on that one. All right. You can draw a number line. You can draw a number line on your homework, on, you know, on the bottom of the page, on a separate sheet of paper. And um, the neat thing about doing the number line is I can start on this type of problem. I can go, you know, one, two, three, but really I, all I need is seven. But I'll go, I'll work all the way there. Five, six, seven. See, I don't need these numbers right here because I'm going this way. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm out of room right there, okay? So then I go and I need to jump five times from the number seven. One, two, three, four, five. And I stopped right here on the number 12. Seven plus five equals 12. All right, so what we did today is we learned about what a digit is. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we learned a couple of different ways on how we can add single digit numbers. We can use our fingers, we can use slashes, we can use dots, we can use manipulatives, that is like objects like blocks or crayons or, you know, markers. We can visualize this. We can use the number line. Use our fingers. All different ways. If you have a special way, I'd love to hear about it. Leave it down in the comment below. Please check out our other videos and come fly with us in another exciting learning episode. Bye-bye. We'll see you later. Have a good day.